Hey everybody, welcome into this new video of TechExpress. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to connect TJ Dropshipping into your Shopify account. It's actually really, really simple. What you want to do first of all is to make sure that you already have the actual, let's say, your Shopify or your very first store into your actual Shopify. In my case, I already have this online store. So you're going to be seeing something like this. You're going to be seeing that you actually have your dashboard here into the left pod and you have the actual applications. This is what we want to get started with. Focused into apps. Inside applications, you want to go into recommended apps or app and sale channel settings. So this one should be taking you into this element that says Shopify App Store. Inside the Shopify App Store, you can see there's actually a lot, but truly, truly a lot of applications that you can choose to get started and to optimize your actual Shopify store so you can get more results and much more of that. So if you wanted to make some drop shipping stuff, you want to type here into the keyword section, CJ drop shipping and automatically it's going to be appearing the CJ drop shipping here is actually more drop shipping suppliers if just in case the TJ drop shipping is not enabled into your country for example we have visas we have drop shipment we have send drop we have profit we have RDS we have uh, drip shipper you just want to make sure that this one has a free plan available so you don't have to pay for a monthly basis plan or whatever so you, you want to get started with like a free version of that so once you to uh, locate your actual application what you want to do is to look out for add application so after that it's going to be popping up this new section that we need to of course to grant the access of Shopify to install this application so you want to do install this application and automatically it's going to be already been installed now in my case I already have an account here into CGA dropshipping in your case I believe that you don't have an account into CGA dropshipping the process to do that is to just go into register here you want to add your email your basic information the confirmation of your email and you're actually good to go after you create an account and you hit into authorize I'm going to hit now into confirmed in my case i just wanted to go into sign in in your case you wanted to sign up but once again the process is really really simple it's exactly the same once you have successfully signed in it's going to appear in authorization success so that means that my store is now been uh let's say enabled to add products directly into my actual from my CD dropshipping account into my actual Shopify. And to prove that we have already successfully done that, you wanted to go into the brand logo, you click there to the upper side, and you can start to look out for some products. So I do have the old categories. I can go and focus into whatever elements I want to. Let's say for example, home improvement. So I go into, let's say for example, we have let's spouts and much more of elements. Let's say for example, that I kind of interested into this creative smartphone uh, wireless charger. So I clicked into the element that I wanted to, let's say, to add into my store. And we can see all the information about the product. We have the title, we have how it's going to be charging the actual product price, the colors, Here's the pre-order inventory. This is about the quality supplier, has an actual great service, um, shipping speed, the item as described, shipping from, and the quantity and all of that. So you want to just make sure that this actually is like the right product to sell into your store. If you are okay with the actual element that you're seeing, then you can go into the one that says add to QE if you wanted to add more than just one product. If you don't, you wanted to go directly into list. So here into list, uh, what is going to be uh, happening here is that it's going to be appearing here the element to add your actual store. In my case here into stores, you wanted to make sure that your Shopify store is already been enabled and add the charge text, ship from, uh, ship my order most to. You wanted to add the store, the country where you are going to be receiving a lot of orders. And there we go. So now we have the collections, the vendor, and here are the variants. Now here into the variants, it's going to be appearing here the RRP, the total dirt shipping cost is. 
13 dollars so if you wanted to add money you have to sell this product a little bit more higher than the dropshipping cost which let's say if you don't know how to calculate that you don't have to worry about that just choose recommended listing price and automatically it's going to be appearing to these prices for yourselves into all the variants so here to list it now and as you can see the listing is now being in process so it is not that hard to let's say connect your cj dropshipping into your shopify account and just to make sure that this one has been now enabled that has now been successfully done is to go back into your shopify and inside your shopify focused into products here into products you should be seeing now that your actual element is now being enabled there so as you can see i have a lot of drop shaping stuff but here this is the one that we have added automatically and run this into this tutorial so i focus into this eye that says preview on my online store and this one is going to be showing me how it's going to be looking into my actual store so here is the product here is the actual colors, here is the images, the buy now button, we have the overview, the packaging, the product list, and all of that. So as you can see, we have done a really great and easy job in speaking about the CK dropshipping. So if you want to check it out more videos of how we can do some orders uh, and putting listed and fulfillment and all that, I can suggest you to subscribe to this channel to give a like into this video so you can watch more videos of how you can make some dropshipping correctly into Shopify. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. And hopefully I can see you on this actual next video, guys. See you soon. Have lots of fun.